In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how today is another red day for silver, even more red than it was yesterday. Same could be said about gold and same could be said about the stock market. And I'm also gonna be going live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the VIP Club. Link in the description if you wanna join. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver falling down to now the $23 an ounce range, excluding premiums, and how the stock market is down as well. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Got the brand new Lone Wolf collection out now, along with the even newer Consistency is Key collection also out now. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. The current spot price of silver as I'm filming the video is $23.92. Down 1.6%, down 39 cents. The spot price of gold is $1,786.90, down 0.4%, down $7.20. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 73 to 74 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But guess what? It's not just silver and gold in the red today. The stock market is down as well. We got the Dow Jones down 0.3%. We got the S&P 500 down 0.43%. And we got the NASDAQ down 0.98%. And by the way, really quick, speaking of the stock market, one of the investing apps that I use, Webull, has two promos going on right now. I just want to let everybody know. The first one is if you download the app and create an account with my referral link, they will give you two free stocks as long as you make a deposit of any amount and I tested it out for myself, I deposited one penny and it worked. They let you do that. So that's one promo going on right now. And the other is that if you refer three people, they'll give you a free share of Apple and the promo ends this month. It's worth over $150. You could always just go and sell that and use the 150 to go get some silver if you want. We will link in the description. But anyway, when it comes to both the precious metals and the stock market, we're seeing a red day. Pretty big red day, wouldn't say as much of a red day as yesterday, but if you add the two together, we're pretty far down. And I'm loving every moment of it, because that just means I can save more, I can stack more, and I can invest more for cheaper. So I love the red days if I haven't made that clear enough over the years. But I wanted to talk about something pretty interesting today, because silver, obviously, is in the red, more in the red than it was yesterday. I'm very curious to see what direction we move in as the week goes by. Because it seems like it's somewhat of a delayed reaction to everything that happened just last week. But I remember making a video early last week saying that I was expecting a week in the red. I was expecting a downtrend. And it wasn't a prediction necessarily it was more so in reference to everything going on we have a lot of craziness taking place in the world right now and oftentimes the markets are very quick to react to these types of things for example everything going on in afghanistan right now is still going on despite what the news is telling you it's not the news it's the opinions nowadays Everything in Afghanistan is still going on. We still are potentially on the brink of an all-out eviction crisis. We still have labor shortages. We still have an unemployment issue. And we definitely just had a hurricane. In fact, if you're a member of the VIP club, you'll know. While I was streaming last week, exactly a week ago, I'll be streaming again tonight friendly reminder i stream every wednesday night but last wednesday night 
when I was doing my VIP club live stream, I had the window open. It was pouring rain. People in the chat said they can hear the rain. And guess what? I didn't realize it was a hurricane. I just thought it was raining. I had no idea. New Jersey was getting hit with a hurricane in real time while I was doing a live stream. I had no idea it was an actual hurricane, at least in this section of New Jersey. I didn't think it was going to happen just yet. But guess what? That has been screwing up a lot as well. That has been causing major damage. Well, not so much anymore, but it caused major damage. And not only did it cause major damage, like property damage, it destroyed cars, it destroyed houses, it destroyed a lot. But not only did it do that, it's really screwing up with the mail right now. In fact, for the last week, maybe even a week and a half at this point, I have had some goldbacks on the way, but they're stuck. They're stuck in transit. They were actually already supposed to be delivered, I think, Friday or Saturday of last week. And here we are on Wednesday, and it's still not out for delivery. Now, I know a lot of people just got their homes and their lives destroyed, so I'm not going to sit here and be like, Woe is me, I didn't get my gold backs. I just wanted to point out that mail is really slow right now, and I'm just going to go ahead and blame that on the hurricane because I know that had a lot to do with it. I don't know if there's any other type of mix-up out there, but I do have some gold backs on the way. This right here was sent in from a subscriber. Thank you very much, Joseph. Currently, my only gold back, and I have three more that will hopefully be here by the end of the week hopefully fingers crossed it is what it is and it's not what it's not i'm not going to hold my breath they'll get here when they get here as far as gold that's really my only pickup right now i would like to get some more quarter ounce gold coins as i talked about in yesterday's video but obviously my priority metal between the beautiful white metal and the beautiful yellow metal, I'm leaning to more towards silver, as I've been for the last three and a half years. So when it comes to silver, here's my strategy. Here's what my focus is, and here's my method for the time being. Silver quarters, nothing crazy, nothing intense. Nothing spectacular, nothing overly enthusiastic or exciting. I've learned over the years that boring stacking or boring investing oftentimes is the best. So that's why I like to head on over to my local coin shop as often as I can. Even if it's just once a month, I really wish I could stop by more frequently than that. But bare minimum, if I can get there once a month and just pick up a handful of silver quarters. I don't care if it's two, three, four dollars worth face value that is. I don't care if it's just a little handful like this. I don't care if it's an entire bag's worth like you see right here. I think this is, I want to say eleven dollars face value that I had in the bag. I like to stop by the local coin shop as frequently as I can. I like to support their small business because guess what? Just because 18 months have gone by doesn't mean that the economy has seen a full-on recovery. And it definitely doesn't mean that small businesses are thriving right now. Small businesses need our support now more than ever. And by the way, they always need our support. I believe that small businesses are the backbone of the entire economy and they fully deserve our support. That's why I like to support the small businesses rather than the large, massive, multi-million, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, potentially billions of dollars that are being generated from these massive corporations. I think I'm gonna support the little guy. I'm gonna support the small business. Wanna know why that is? Number one, it's because I said Small businesses are the backbone of the economy, but I'm a small business as well, and I always appreciate the support, and I like to give back as much as I can whenever I can. It's just what I do. It's just what I believe in. Support the small businesses. They need it now more than ever, and the local coin shop is a small business. Assuming that your local coin shop isn't a massive online precious metal dealing Websites storefront or fulfillment center or whatever they have going on Assuming that your local coin shop 
It's probably a small family-owned business, a mom-and-pop shop. They probably don't have the most impressive inventory. I know mine doesn't. And by the way, for the record, my coin shop isn't even a coin shop. They're an antique shop that just so happens to have a nice section of the store dedicated to coins. So they're not even technically a coin shop. Which makes me want to remind everyone, if you don't have a local coin shop in your area, get on Google and look for an antique shop in your area, or a pawn shop in your area, or a thrift shop in your area. They carry coins as well. There's always a way to get your hands on coins. There's always a way to support the small businesses. That's my recommendation. That's my suggestion. Do with it what you want. But that's what I'm going to be doing soon as payday comes. I'm going to be taking a little bit of currency, a little bit of fiat, a little bit of my IOU debt note dollar bills that the boss will give me. I'm going to take a small portion of them. And I'm going to hit the coin shop. And I'm going to keep it boring. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go for some Washington quarters. Now, I'm not against going for some Roosevelt dimes, maybe even Mercury dimes if they have them. But I've grown quite fond of Washington quarters. I like the denomination. I like how it's kind of like meeting in the middle in a way. They're one-sixth of a troy ounce coins, while silver dimes are one-fourteenth of a troy ounce coins, and half dollars are about one-third of a troy ounce coins. The Washington quarters are definitely the most common. They're what my local coin shop, or antique shop, have the most of. Oftentimes, whether you're at the local coin shop or doing some online precious metal shopping, Washington quarters are oftentimes the cheapest. Washington quarters and Roosevelt dimes, they usually go for the same exact identical fiat dollar bill price tag. Half dollars, usually a little bit more. They're not so common, not so easy to stumble upon. But you can find Washington quarters no matter where you go. Any coin shop out there, any online precious metal dealing storefront, they have Washington quarters. I don't know if I've ever seen a website say that they were out of stock when it came to Washington quarters. Everyone has Washington quarters all the time, it seems. So being that they're so common, being that they're all over the place, they're very easy to find, and being that they're very easy to find, means that they're usually the cheapest. So that's what I like to go with, not to mention, like I said, they kind of meet right in the middle between the dime, quarter, and half dollar. They're the middle size, easy denomination to work with, simple to work with, fun to work with, might seem boring, just looks like pocket change, even if you understand the power of silver constitutional coins still it's not as exhilarating as maybe going and getting yourself some silver eagles or some queen's beasts or an aztec calendar round or bar or or a sunshine bar or an rcm bar a silvertown bar the scottsdale Kit Kat bar those are a little bit more exciting than silver coins that look pretty much identical to the coins we have in our pocket when we come home from the grocery store. It looks exactly the same, so psychologically, it's not as exciting. I understand that. I went a good two and a half years feeling that way, and it wasn't until maybe about one year back that I started to really appreciate the 90%, even if it's boring. Boring oftentimes is better. And that goes for stacking, and that goes for investing. Of course, you can hop on one of those social media sites and figure out what's the hottest new meme stock that our leaders can tell us to buy into so that when we all do at the same time, they can cash out and leave us holding the bag. What's the new meme stock? It's exciting. Everyone's talked about it, has all this hype and energy around it. But what's the more boring alternative? probably index funds and ETFs, and that's what I like. And I'll be capitalizing on that as well, because guess what? Not only is silver in the red, not only is gold in the red, 
but the entire stock market is in the red as well. I like to capitalize on opportunities when opportunities present themselves to me. As I've been saying for the last couple of years, I would much rather miss out on an opportunity than be controlled by the fear of missing out. But I'm not being controlled by the fear of missing out right now. All I'm doing is nibbling. That's it. That's all. I'll put a little bit into index funds or ETFs. I'll get a little bit of silver at a time, a handful of Washington quarters. I'll pick up a little tenth ounce or a quarter ounce of gold at a time, or I'll pick up a couple of gold backs potentially. I'm just nibbling. And I'm staying consistent. I'm going to continue chipping away at what some of my goals are. I'm going to keep building. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to stay busy. I'm going to stay productive. And guess what? I'm not going to stop. And if something happens that requires me to stop, maybe the price of something specific goes through the roof and it becomes out of reach or in my opinion, it's no longer undervalued and I no longer want to convert my dollars into it for the time being, guess what? I'm going to shift my focus to something else. That's not time to kick back with my feet up watching Netflix all day. No! That's time to stay busy. That's time to stay productive. That's time to look around and figure out, okay, what's the new undervalued asset? What's the next opportunity? That's what I'd be doing in a situation like that not kicking back waiting sitting around getting nothing done and by the way I know I'm filming this video right now but I filmed tomorrow's video last night I know that sounded confusing and it's gonna be about why I do not wait to stack silver or gold look forward to that in 24 hours but I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic when it comes to silver being below $24 an ounce, excluding premiums, when it comes to gold being below $1,800 an ounce, excluding premiums, and when it comes to the stock market, being down as well. Remember to get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble with my referral link and making a deposit of any amount, and then refer three friends to get a free share of Apple worth over 150 bucks. Link in the description. The Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, all in the red today. Silver and gold, both in the red today. Will you be capitalizing on the opportunities that are presenting themselves to us today? What is your next pickup going to be when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. We're going to be going live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout-outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And, of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial-free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit three thousand subscribers we just hit two thousand and i appreciate that and if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some dydss merchandise of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts hoodies even stickers many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness 
for ocean cleanup charity organizations. And of course, the brand new DYDSS Lone Wolf t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, coffee mug, and long sleeve tee, available in four different colors, and a portion of the proceeds are going towards the International Wolf Center. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. When it comes to everything shared in today's video, what are your thoughts? Are you enjoying the red day? With silver being down. With gold also being down. With the stock market being down as well. Will you be trading some of your fiat currency debt note glorified IOU dollar bills away and acquiring you a little bit of wealth whether it be the physical silver and gold whether it be maybe some index funds ETFs potentially individual stocks will you be capitalizing on the opportunity will you be as they say buying the dip now that we're in the red will you be making the most of what's going on right now and getting a better bang for your buck on the silver and the gold head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling peace